beißen. Beißen? Beißen. The legendary Bull Gator is a welcome distraction to the dramatic intensity and emotional heaviness of Chapter 6. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. The hunt technically unlocks after we see the legendary alligator with Dutch. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you However, in practice, at least for me, the hunt will not become available until we return from Guarma. And the map. We are back in Lagra. We better make a save here in case something goes wrong. This thing is more dangerous than that legendary grizzly, and quite possibly the most lethal legendary animal in the game. Let's go get him. And if you get the alert that there is too much activity in the area, we can always leave the area and return, or exit and reload, or reload that save we just made. Okay, here we go. Another bright, sunny morning in the swamp. Arthur loves the swamp. It's his favorite location on the map. That is sarcasm, my friends. Hyperbole and nuance are a dying art and completely wasted on the internet. And the map again. Here is our first clue. We gotta show you. Whoa, way ahead of me. <laughs> Some broken sticks. Those legendaries sure love their broken sticks. And the second clue. Looks like he ate a bird. A bird for something that big would be like us eating a grape or a peanut. Barely a meal, and if anything, just makes you more hungry. And the final clue. Another bird. We better get ready. Arthur has the trusty Springfield loaded with explosive ammo. There he is. Wish the light were better. Doesn't that legendary gator know that we are filming a video here? So inconsiderate. So one explosive round to the forehead basically gets his attention. Here he comes. Done. Arthur wanted to wait and shoot at the last second for the video, but he got too scared. Who can blame him? 
However, if you ask Arthur, he will tell you that Buell was afraid. And who are we to disagree with Arthur? Look at that thing. He is basically a dinosaur. Also, no worries. That legendary gator is only sleeping. Arthur brought in Buell for a size comparison. And, at least in this light, it looks as if Buell and the legendary gator are the exact same shade of Cremello gold. Don't tell Buell. Arthur, Buell, and the legendary bull gator will take a moment to pose for the thumbnail in the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast-related content, and our Discord. And here is our exact location. Well, all good things must come to an end. And now we need to process this legendary gator. Also note, we only get 5 units of big game meat from him. With that size, I would expect at least 25 units. And the legendary alligator tooth will come in handy. However, we will visit the fence in a forthcoming video. For now, let's visit the trapper. Fast travel to Emerald Ranch. Arthur needs to stay away from Sandini right now, because any route into the city will ultimately lead to the doctor's office, if you know what I mean. And Arthur doesn't need to deal with all of that right now. So embarrassing. I told you Buell was a little clumsy, and he's at level 4. I cannot believe we were able to complete Horseman 9 with him. More dumb luck and stubbornness on Arthur's part, I can assure you. Okay, fella. Yep. And back at the Trappers, who is impressed with Arthur's hunt, but also expects no less from him. Okay, let's take a look at it. Boy, the things I can make with this. All made to measure. We have already unlocked the Death Roll outfit. We have the legendary Giaguaro Panther Cloak, the greatest cloak in the game. You get that after Master Hunter 10. And aren't you happy to hear the correct pronunciation of Giaguaro? We could also buy the legendary alligator vest and the legendary alligator fowlers. I do like the look of white alligator boots, or off-white in this case. Perhaps Arthur should work on an all-white outfit. The legendary alligator gambler's hat will require two perfect snake skins. Probably save that for John. Poor Arthur's looking a little peaky, to quote Mr. Pearson. And the legendary Panther Range Gloves need a perfect Gila Monster skin. 
and we are definitely leaving those for John. Arthur is quite busy these days and doesn't have time to sneak into New Austin. Arthur doesn't have time literally, if you know what I mean. You must have heard of Tatanka, the buffalo down in Hennigan's dead. Big as a stagecoach and twice as hard to kill. We need to get back to Saint Denis and meet with Sadie and see about breaking John out of the big house. I am very sentimental about the legendary gator, as it's the last legendary hunt we can do with Arthur. However, part of me really enjoys the idea of leaving him in Le Gras. A giant, all white, prehistoric monster lurking in the swamp, along with the ghosts and the night folk and the regular gators. The legendary gator adds what the realtors call curb appeal to Le Gras, and he's probably great for tourism. Oh well, Arthur wasn't thinking about anything as prosaic as tourism. He was busy becoming a legend in Red Dead Redemption 2. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second channel that features more podcast-related content, in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews. And also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. I'm too old for love, Tacitus. Too old to live without it. Oh, wise words.